But this film, we investigated the origin of the tea. In 18th century England, it accompanied afternoon gossip. In China, it was an integral part of life. The common tea set inspired us connected to. More tea, Beatrice. Why, thank you, Camilla. The other day, we went to see Lady Elizabeth, and she has a wonderful new tea table. Quite expensive, though, I should imagine. Thank you, Camilla. Oh. Oh, you do love a spot of tea. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. It's so important to be up in the fashion tea at the moment. Oh, yes. One must always be up in the fashion. Quite. You know, they say nowadays that it costs as much to keep a tea table as it does to put two children through nurse. Shen Yong, also known as the Divine Farmer, was a wise doctor from China. One day, he left his house in search of the perfect herb. For years and years he searched. He found many plants, but none were what he was looking for. Tired, he sat down to rest and have a drink. Without his realising, some leaves fell into his cup. He drank the water and was pleased with its taste. He felt refreshed. One day, the Emperor came to visit Shen Yong. Shen Yong showed his respect by presenting his new drink to the Emperor. The Emperor drank the drink. He asked Shen Yong, what is this? He was pleased with its taste. Shen Yong answered, I call it tea and it is a drink for the spirit. The Emperor replied, I will give this as a gift to my people, so that everyone can enjoy its taste. Camilla? 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 Sorry, we were just asking, where do you get your tea from? It's simply splendid. From the Divine Farmer, of course. Is that a shop in London? I've never heard of it. Oh, I, I mean, from China. <laughs> oh, from China. <laughs> How wonderful. Oh, of course, wonderful. 